Hey! So I decided to make a video of the hairstyle that you saw here. I had been asked, now that I'm trying to make new videos, I had been asked to uh, make a video on the different hairstyles that I've been using or that I've been doing now that my hair's a little bit longer. Now, I am not a style guru, and the styles that I, um, that I create or mimic are not uh, extravagant, really. They're not very editorial. The one, okay, the one thing about me and my styles, I do not like using a lot of props, and I don't like using bobby pins. I despise it, and, um, so if your hair is shorter and you can't quite get it to do what you need it to do, then I, you know, use a, use bobby pins. But for me, I don't like using bobby pins. I despise them. I've never liked them. But one time that I did get my hair uh, done or styled, I should say, is when I got my hair colored and she probably used about 30 bobby pins and I hated it. Like it kept my style, I, but I think it could have still been achieved without the bobby pins, but for the sake of not being there all day and trying to figure out what works, I get it. You use pins, put it in, move, keep it moving. But me personally, I don't like pins because I feel like they stick me in my scalp and they pull hair certain places. And then like if I lay on it wrong, it's stabbing me in my scalp and I can't do it. I don't like it. I don't like using a lot of up here because here I feel like it, it bends my edges. And that's probably another thing that helps me not have thinning edges. Uh, I don't know. It's not scientific fact. It's just some things that I don't do to my hair. So tension, you know, with a lot of tension on your edges, especially, it can cause thinning. It could cause it, your hair to come out. And because I don't do any of that, that could possibly be a reason why I don't experience thinning, except for that one little mishap over there but you know we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that no more <laughs> so moving right along into this hairstyle very 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 simple and i think that anyone with shorter locks longer locks medium locks whatever i think locks of all lengths can accomplish this hairstyle and it's extremely simple i actually saw this style on somebody else um I cannot think of her name. I really, really wish I could remember her name. And I wish I had subscribed to her channel when I saw the video. But um, she has really, really long, long um, locks. Oh, God. And she's from Canada, or she lives in Canada. And she's, I think she's a model. I'm not really sure. Oh, God, I wish I could remember what her her YouTube channel name was so I can give her credit for this hairstyle. So note, I did not create this. This is something that I saw and I decided like, ooh, I wanna try that. Let me see how it looks. And um, in the picture, that was the third time I tried it. So every time that I do it, it, it comes out a little bit better. So, all right, enough talking, let's do this hairstyle. So first, the first thing that I did was got a big chunk here in the front to me i don't really know how to say how far back to go maybe like right before you get to the crown of the head and i guess um I, you know I, I um i don't know what to call this portion like I don't know, a quarter from the center of the of the hair, of the, the center of the head, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I like to give things words, their actual description is saying this part and this part because this part, if you look up this part in the dictionary, you're not going to find this part. So excuse me, I'm sorry, I can't give the proper name for this section of hair. Uh, I, I don't know what to call it. I'm sorry. So you just take a nice portion from the middle 
from the middle and then you see I went about right before I get to the crown the crown of the head is here so right before I get to the crown and I guess you know if you're wanting to go to the crown to make it easier so have you you get as much as you need and with this chunk of hair with this chunk of hair all I did was braid it braid it this way braid it down not braiding it going back but braid it going down and I'm not braiding it very tight it's going to be a loose braid but it's not going to be like a, a, a loosey goosey sloppy braid it's just it's not extra tight it's not extra loose it's just kind of somewhere right in the middle so you don't need to braid it all the way down. If your locks are shorter, you might have to. And if they're longer, you won't need to. Um, and then you bring it up here. Now you see this, this thing going on right here? Uh, that's a no-go. So what I'm gonna do is take this out and just re-braid it and bring the beginning of the braid up a little bit so that little hump there is pulled a little bit tighter. But I'm still doing a very loose braid, but all I did was bring the beginning of the braid further up. Instead of starting it here, I started it up here. All right, and braid. And now we pull, pull it straight up and lay it back. Now that we fix it, we tuck. We fix and we tuck and we tuck and we fix. Piece of lint, you see that? You just throw it out. All right. So we're just making sure that it looks good and we don't have any loosey gooseys trying to escape. And again, because I don't use pins, I rely a lot of my hairstyles on tucking things in. All right, so that's kind of the hump that I that I kind of want. So with the hairs here on the side, kind of like in the temple area, <laughs> I figured it out. In the temple area, I just took these here on the temple, not a lot of it, just maybe to the ear, right in the middle of the ear. And what oh i do need a prop i know i said that i don't like using a lot of props but every now and then you need a prop okay so then we take the two uh pieces here by the temple and we just bring them back over the braid bring it back over your backwards braid We take our prop, rubber band, and we're just tying it. And a nice little ponytail, and then unbraid the braid um, up into the part where you've rubber banded it. <clears throat> And voila, you've got a very quick, very cute hairstyle that can be worn out on the town. How old does that sound? Okay, just scratch that. When you can wear it out, when you're going out on a date or you hanging with your girls or whatever, you know, you know. All right, so this is it, very simple takes about five minutes um but going really slow taking your time it could bake, take up to 10 minutes so you see very quick and if having your hair down really isn't your thing or you have on a sweater and you don't want the sweater fuzz to get in the lower the lower layers of your locks then take another prop
and put the back part up into either a ponytail Now, for me, when my hair is up in a ponytail, the first thing that I do is I pull anything that's pulling on my edges. I pull it down because, like I said, I don't like stuff being pulled on my edges. I just don't like it. I, I don't like it. So all I'm doing is just pulling on the ponytail itself. I'm going in, in, gripping here, gripping my locks and pulling out, out this way. So it's not so much tension on my edges. So this is another one. All right, and if that's still not up enough for you, then create a bun. Now I've actually never created a bun, so this will be my first time trying it. So we'll see how it turns out. Now you can make it a nice and neat, pretty bun, or you can make it a messy bun. And the way this is looking, I'm not a fan of it. But then again, this is a messy bun. This is like my messy bun that I put my hair up in every day. But if I wanted a nice, nice um, bun that's all wrapped up neatly and there's no danglies, you know, then I could do that too. But I don't think this hairstyle for me I don't think I would be able to do a nice little pretty precise bun because of this here this pompadour honey in the front would it would just be too much up on top of my hair you know what I just had a thought sidetrack side note real quick has anybody any anybody put their hair up on the top of their head and have had problems in the car now, maybe because I'm short, I'm 5'1", and I jack my seat up as far as it can go. Um, and then I wear my hair up on top of my head. So like when I'm driving and, I'm, and I lean forward to you know look both ways before I go out there, my, my hair gets caught on the ceiling. So it's like I can't quite lean forward. And if I do, I have to like do one of these maneuvers, like duck and turn, duck and turn. Has anybody experienced that before or is it just me? I always laugh every time I try to go forward and I can't because my hair gets stuck. It makes me laugh. Am I the only one? All right. So um, this was my attempt at a hair tutorial, a hairstyle tutorial video. So let me know what you think. Um, I do have other hairstyles that I've tried that I will make videos of and maybe those would be a little bit better um so yeah let me know what you think and i'll see y'all later all right